Hello and welcome to another Nihongo Gamer video. Let's do some gameplay for Blade Arcus EX. This is the fighting game based on the Shining series of RPGs by Sega with illustrations by Tony. The game came out uh, actually in arcades a year ago, but it's finally on the PS4. Let's get into some fighting game action on Blade Arcus EX. So as I understand it, she is a new character designed for the game, uh, especially for the game. Wrong, uh, wrong tune. Whoa, it's very, very loud in my headphones, so I'm just gonna turn myself down a sec. Blade Arcus, press the options button, okay. Play data, success, she must have. Okay, so we've got a story mode here, we've got arena mode, versus mode, training mode, system guide, art gallery, custom mode. Uh, what is this? This is force action, so you can create things like um, uh, force actions and change it into easy mode, I think, uh, here. Options, I don't know if there are really any options that we need to change immediately. Game settings, buttons, sound, should be fine the way it is. Uh, essentially, what I want to do is try out something really immediate. Now, we could go into story mode, but there's going to be lots of chatting and all that. So let's just try immediately arena mode, which I assume is just kind of like the arcade mode without the story. Oh, but, you know, maybe that won't be... Yeah, no, let's do it. Let's do this um, just arena mode, just as a quick... Just a quick mode, just want to see what the game is like, then we can jump into story mode later. So we're going to play in normal mode, assuming that I know how to play in normal mode. Got different characters here, don't know them all from the Shining series, but let's start with a character that I think is designed to be um, new for this game. Her name is Pyron. Click normal. Oh, I think I choose a support character. Let's use a Ryuga who I think is also designed for this game. And we're going to be fighting against Sakuya and Altina. All right, bring it. Now, I have actually played a little bit of the yeah. Shining Hearts and Shining Blade series, but it's been a while, it's been a while. Final round. Okay, so you can uh, sort of force jump by pressing down and up, just like in King of Fighters. So what I'm pressing at the moment is triangle for my main attack. Pressing square, that's a sort of light attack. Cross. Cross brings in my support character. The circle is kick. So essentially the, the main buttons you want to use are square, triangle, and circle to do your attacks. Uh, she does three hit combos. Oh, not really. I guess I pressed some extra buttons. Let's see if this is on my Shoryuken. Shoryuken! Uh, with a triangle. It's just a bit stronger with circle. That's uh This is my Shoryuken with a circle. Ooh! Which also happens to be a super combo. Uh down forward circle is some kind of icy attack. Love the graphics! I love I love that it looks 2D, but it's kind of 3D. That's really exciting. I mean I realize that's becoming quite commonplace now in arcades, but for me it's quite exciting. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant! Oh, I can uh, dash backwards and I can dash forwards like that. Uh, let's see. I've got a down back triangle. That seems to do a Chun Li style kick. That's still my <laughs> support. Forgot what that did. Uh, circle. Ooh! That was my that was my Shoryuken with a kick. I, I don't, yeah, that's quite nice. Um, let's do a dub down forward down forward punch, shall we? Nope, nothing. Let's do a down forward down forward triangle. Nope, nothing. Just double check. I don't have a move list or anything, but I've got to get this uh, this command list out. We've got all the commands A and B. Which one's A? Which one's B? Uh, I guess it's square. I think A and B is to throw, and um, offish, what is this, offensive force. So if I press the uh, square and circle buttons, I can do an offensive for- ooh! Bosh! Ooh, offensive force attack, done! Oh, this is brilliant, the graphics are really lovely. Wow! That's so Japanese when uh, they do a special attack and it zooms in with a profile picture in the back. Ultra Japan! What am I even doing? I don't even know! <laughs> Thank you very much! 
Aren't you glad I'm here to translate things like arigato? <laughs> Just kidding. So let's try and do some throws now, shall we? Okay, bring it on! Throwing time! I'm gonna throw you! Get up! Hey! Oh, I'm pressing the wrong button. There we go, that's my throw. I can do a, I can do a normal throw. I don't know if I can do like a throw backwards. Yeah, you can. It's a bit like Street Fighter. You can do little... If you just press the opposite direction when you do the throw. Force! And that uses your force gauge, so we have a force gauge at the bottom. We also have a um, support gauge, which uh, can be used. There's no air, there's no mid-air dashing, um, like blaze blue, or blaz blue, whatever you want to call it. It's a bit easy at the moment, isn't it? I suppose I should do it, I should do it in story mode next time. <laughs> oh well. <clears throat> Come on! Great. Now, what I'm going to do is press start and just see if I can check out my command list and see what my super combos are. I have down down A as well, what is that? Ooh, it's some sort of counter. But he's never going to attack me because it's too easy. Um, let's go into my command list again, let's see, I've got a down forward, down forward, and C. Down forward, down, uh, down back, down back, C. Uh, these are the simple mode attacks. So basically, my attacks are down forward, down forward, and down back, down back. So that was the special kick that I did, and then the down forward, down forward, the... She's very, very Chun Li style, isn't she? Which is cool. I like that. Come here! Bring it on. Bosh! Oh, I missed. That's the yeah! Alright, going pretty good. I think I want to try out um, story mode though. It's quite a lot of characters considering they're all taken from just two Shining games actually. Lovely character designs there. Really, really amazing. Tony is the man. Or woman, I'm not really even sure. Okay. Whoa! I did a, I did a combo! Bosh! That's okay. No, um... I think it might be a good idea to do training mode at some point so I can take advantage of all the different fighting styles. I immediately already enjoy it more than um, Dengeki Bunko Fighting Climax Ignition, uh, though, because something about that game seemed kind of... Like, the punches didn't turn into punches, and the kicks didn't turn into kicks, so I never knew what was going to happen when I pressed the button. It was all a bit, uh... It was all a bit random. But this this feels a bit more like a like a fighting game. Woo! That's my... Wah! I like that! Check out my down kick! Nice! I'm going to chuck you! I'm not really sure why it shows numbers when I attack it. Ooh! Oh no! No! Alright, come on. Look at the design on the other character though. What's her name? Rosselino. Definitely gotta try that character out later. But at the moment, we're mostly focusing on this Pyron character, seeing all the different. Ooh! That's my jumping kick move. Just double check, there's nothing that the shoulder buttons do, I don't think. Mm, nope. L2 is my emotion. A, B, and C is to do a super force action. Let's try three buttons at the same time. Ready? Super force! Oh, hold on. Super... <laughs> you know what? Maybe you have to actually... Interesting. Pressing A, B, and C at the same time, you're not getting any super force actions. Is that it? Is that my super force action? That might have been it. I'm not sure if maybe I... The buttons that I thought were A, B, and C are, are, are a little different to what I thought. Uh, a is the square, B is triangle, C is circle. Yeah, so it's correct. That's interesting. Pose menu. Oh, po it says pose menu, but it means pause menu. Um, I can't get it to do my super force action, so I'm just going to press R2 in order to do it. So, whoa! Come here, come here. Ooh, he's actually fighting back for one. Is this like a boss character? 
Ooh, ooh, ow, ow, ow. Bosh! Yeah, not that. Come on, come on, come on, attack! Uh, I didn't connect. <laughs> Thought maybe he wouldn't notice if I just did move twice in a row. Smack! Yes! Yeah! Connected! Um, but I'm running out of power. Yes! Got it! I'm not sure, these, these are only one stage battles, aren't they? I guess that's what Arena is. Or maybe Arena is like like a survival mode, actually. It didn't even occur to me to check. <laughs> oh well. I'm on stage 10. Oh, this is the final round, okay. Okay, come on. Ooh! It's interesting, isn't it? Uh, it's nice that there are sword characters and there are also, you know, these fighting characters. Because it makes it feel a bit more like SNK games, or, you know, like, Last Blade style games, or, or maybe even Blade Blue. Oh. <laughs> Talking too much, not enough fighting. Oh, game over! Oh, that's so sad! Uh, if I'd only been paying more attention. Now, I don't know if they're going to give me an option to... Ooh, I opened up Illustration 186 and Illustration 49 and 86. Auto-saving... Ha! Huh, so arena mode doesn't give you any chance to, to try again, but I'll just go into the art gallery, show you what that looks like. Um, it's hard to... It doesn't... There's no way to arrange it as just the ones that you've already won. So just go down like this. This is one that I've won. This is number 49. It's a nice illustration. I don't know if there's a way to get rid of this uh, display, usually by pressing one of these buttons. L2? No? R2? Okay. Whoa! Zooming in, but unfortunately the analog stick down is up and up is down. That doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Check this out. Nice illustration. Good work. Good work, Tony. Um, essentially, I would like <laughs> I'd like a way to get rid of the black borders, though. Here. Menu. Ah, here we go. So press the options button. You can get rid of that. That's a nice illustration. Let's check out other ones. It looks like it says G. Maybe you can also buy these with money. Another illustration here by Tony. I can't remember which button was... Uh, oh, R... maybe R2? Yeah, R2 was to zoom in and out. Nice illustration by Tony. I guess these are all characters from the Shining series. Let's go back, and I think I had one more, didn't I? Let's have a look. Here we go, number 186. I think this is from Shining Resonance. Again, I didn't have... Uh, I did try to make gameplay videos for it, but I was on my PS3, and so it was a bit difficult to do... Uh, there's a real Code Geass kind of feel to this picture, doesn't it? Awesome. Looks really good. Alright. So those are all the pictures that I've won so far. Uh, far? Far. There's uh, 200 of them. I just wanted to give you a quick, uh, very fast look at what Blade Arcus looks like. What I'll do is, I think, if possible, I will... I mean, I don't know if I'll have time to do it, but I'll try and make um, a gameplay video showing you all the different characters, just generally their moves, or maybe just play for the through the um, first three levels of it or something. And uh, and then, then I'll have uh, shown you most of the game, basically. Uh, I Hopefully I'll have a chance to also do story mode. I think there'll be a bit more translation. I think it probably has a fairly, fairly good story for a fighting game built into it. But until I get more of Blade Arcus EX on the internet, don't forget to comment, subscribe, share the links and all that good stuff, and I'll see you in the next Nihongo Gamer video. She's got magnets on her feet. First, New Nintendo 3DS game. Final Fantasy 15. Ah! Someone pick up the phone. How about you, Cloud? It's shopping time. So I let her go in front of me, and she ran into the shop, and she took the only copy of this. And I thought, no. Here it comes. Ah! It's like the yes. anime, but better. It doesn't say what this is. It just, it just, it's just a piece of plastic. I, I really think, I think, I think maybe it, it is a frisbee.